Hello, back with another video. And among this mess of computer components will soon to be my testing PC version 2.0. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you may recall that um, around late 2020, I built myself a hardware slash software um, testing PC. And that was a, I want to say it was a Dell Vostro 270. And then about a year later, um, I replaced it with a Dell Optiplex. I think it was like a 70 something. It, anyway, it doesn't matter. And those two computers worked well enough for what they were used for. But honestly, having another desktop in my room just kind of took up way too much space. So I decided to basically rebuild my uh, hardware slash testing PC into a more space saving um, form factor. So we're basically going to rebuild it as a testing bench. I figured a solution like this would be much, much easier to swap out components whenever I need to. And plus, since now I don't have to have another desktop in my room taking up space, because I already got two of them right there, it'll be nice to have something that I can quickly plug in whenever I need to, and then unplug and just toss in the closet whenever I don't need it. So first off for the motherboard, we have this Dell Optiplex motherboard. Um, I can't remember what model it's from, but I do know that it has a third gen Core i5 in it. Um, it takes DDR3 RAM, currently has six gigabytes in there. Um, I'll be upgrading that to 16 eventually. Um, and not, honestly, the main reason why I bought this um, motherboard is because one, it's got USB 3 support, which is definitely really nice. And two, it doesn't have any crappy proprietary um, motherboard power connectors. I absolutely hate dealing with those, <laughs> let me tell you. Plus, I wanted to have something that has dual PCIe slots, so that way I can play around with um, dual graphics cards if I ever want to. It kind of sucks that we only have six gigabytes of RAM and a third gen Core i3, but I can always upgrade later on down the line. It'll work for now. For the power supply, we're going with this Corsair 400 watt power supply. Um, this was originally in the Ultimate Windows XP gaming PC. Um, I've since upgraded to a slightly better um, PSU for that system. So we're just going to be reusing this one for, obviously, this system. For an optical drive, we're going to go with this um, HP Super Multi DVD writer. Um, I don't use optical media all that much besides like installing... Um, operating systems every once in a while but it's always nice to have even if you don't use it very often. We're also going to be reusing the SSD and the hard drive from my original um, hardware slash software testing PC um, since you know why not they still work so might as well just keep using them. We also can't forget about a graphics card, and we're just going to go with one of these um, AMD Radeon graphics cards that I had lying around. It's nothing special. I think it only has like one gigabyte of video memory, and we're most definitely not going to be using this for gaming at all. So it'll be good enough, just as long as it works. And all the components will be going on to one of these. So this is basically a custom-made acrylic testing bench Um motherboard tray that I got off of, got off of Amazon. Um, it supports a wide variety of form factors. It supports ITX, micro ATX, um, and even ATX actually, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, it should be perfectly fine for our use case. I could definitely go with something much better later on down the line, but it should be good enough for now. Of course, we can't forget about the best part. Always so satisfying.
hey, look at that. We're all done. It's definitely not the tidiest in the world, but hey, it'll work. Um, it does kind of suck that I wasn't able to mount the um, optical drive anywhere because, well, obviously it <laughs> doesn't have any mounting holes on the sides at all. So we'll just use it as like a plug and play device. So whenever I need it, I'll just plug it in and turn the system on. And if I don't need it, I'll just leave it out. So assuming that we got everything all plugged in correctly, when I flip the power switch on the back and press the power button, hey, all right. Oh wait, we need the monitor. Oh, what? Oh, this is one of those Dell motherboards. They're really weird when it comes to the power on self test. Anyways, I almost forgot. We gotta plug in the monitor. Get some video out of this thing. Oh, I just noticed that the fans light up. That's actually pretty cool. Pump out some decent air. Invalid configuration, okay. Power button cable fa failure. I almost wonder if I might have the power button misconfigured, maybe. Air temperature sensor not detected. Yeah, whatever, we don't need that. Rear fan failure, don't need that either, because obviously we have some fans right there. Front I.O. cable failure, which that front I.O. Um, connector is proprietary, and um, I honestly could not figure out where the hell this little cable goes. I'm assuming that's for the front, either the front audio or front USB. Um, but yeah, I was able to get that cable in perfectly fine. And that's for the USB, so I'm assuming that's probably right. This is probably for the front um, audio, and I cannot find a single spot where that hooks into on the motherboard. So whatever, it's fine. We have we have audio on the back anyway, so it'll be fine. Hang on a second, let me get my tripod going here quick, and then we'll check out the BIOS. Okay, let's see what we got here. System information. Six gigabytes is being detected, that's good. PCI information, the graphic card, graphics card is obviously being detected, so that's good. We got our Core i3. I'll probably end up eventually upgrading that to either an i7 um, third gen, or even like a Intel Xeon or something. That'd be really cool. But it'll do for now. Date and time is most definitely not correct, but whatever, we can fix that later. So we'll just apply the settings and boot. Now, I didn't wipe the SSD installation from the old Dell Optiplex. Um, and I actually even didn't, I actually didn't even erase it um, from the Dell um, Vostro, I just used the same exact um, installation. So we'll see if it actually boots. Hey, cool. It does. <laughs> That's honestly surprising. Because, yeah, this is the exact same installation that I have had on this PC since um, the Dell Vostro. So, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it actually works. Obviously, you might have to update some uh, drivers and whatnot because this is a technically a different board. I think it's actually from a Dell Optiplex 9010. But still, the fact that it still works... We don't have to actually reinstall Windows is quite nice. Cool, cool. Everything is working perfectly. <laughs> Sweet. The only downside is that we don't have integrated Wi-Fi on this board, which that's totally fine. I actually got a USB um, Wi-Fi adapter that'll work perfectly for this thing. Um, let's see here. So for graphics drivers, let me see if we need to install... Any drivers for that graphics card? Yep, 
Yeah, it looks like we'll need some drivers for that. It'd be nice to know what the hell this thing even, even is. Let me look that up online, actually. Oh, it's a Radeon HD 7470. So, <laughs> nothing spectacular, but I'm sure it should have drivers for Windows 10, I would think. Like I said before, I'm most definitely not going to use this PC for gaming or anything. I got my Lenovo Idea Center for that. Um, but that, that Radeon in there right now is just, honestly, is it's just to have <laughs> a basic graphics card in the system. Gotta say, I'm actually pretty happy how this turned out. And honestly, it wasn't all that difficult to put together. I don't, like I said before, I don't remember who manufactured this um, acrylic testing bench board, but kudos to them. They did a good job. So yeah, that is my hardware slash software testing PC version 2.0. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.